Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're hopping into Garb's Challenge Heavenly Demon 2 with another one of these runs that uh, doesn't actually use poison sockets, as you can see here. And as you can see with my subs or my supports, there is actually no way of removing the poison there either. So, how are we getting around poison when it comes to Heavenly Demon 2? Well, we're using our boy Crocus. Crocus' is special can actually completely remove poison as well as give us a nice little chunk of heal as well as 90% damage reduction, which actually comes in very, like, like very, very handy on the final stage against the Dofies too. So, what team can we put Crocus on? Well, what team would it be if we didn't bring his captain, Roger? So, Roger's our captain, and we're bringing, um, well, he's apprentice, I guess, Shanks and his crew. Now, Shanks' crew is a little bit of a cheat code uh, for this particular content. We are using Viva Rebecca as they were built for it. We do have Uso Hachi for cooldown and defense up removal, as well as Kazuki Odin. As if we're running Roger, there's no no chance in hell you know I'm not running Kazuki Odin. But, as I was saying, Shanks crew, if you guys are, are struggling with uh, Dofi 2, is a little bit of a cheat code. Now, most teams will use someone like um, Stampede Buggy and Time Skip Nami because they can remove Special Blind. But, utilizing Shanks crew as your friend, Captain, you can actually just use him to remove the Special Blind. But the thing with Stampede Buggy and time skip Nami that works really, really well as well, is they also have a crewmate ability to remove paralysis by one turn. Now, throughout the whole run of Dofi uh, 2, you get a lot of paralysis, a lot of one-turn paralysis, so it's very, very annoying. But our boy Crocus, he actually removes one turn of paralysis just by being on the crew. So not only can our boy Crocus remove paralysis, not only can he give us um, damage reduction and healing, but our boy Crocus can also remove the paralysis Making him actually like a pretty decent sub for this particular piece of content. Now, ideally, Time Skip Nami just does it better. Uh, and then with Poison Sockets, it just does work a little bit nicer. Um, but if you guys are lacking Poison Sockets, uh, this team may be the team for you. So on to Stage 3, we come up against Monet. Now, Monet is going to bind our crewmates and give us one special only. What we want to do here is just pass the first turn. But do make sure that you guys stay as Shanks. Oh, I can't believe I actually... Mr. Perfect there. Make sure you stay as Shanks, so that way you can switch into Crew on the second turn. We can switch into Vivi on that same turn as well, and then we can focus on taking out Monet on the second turn. Beautiful. Goodbye, Monet. So, the reason we want to switch into Vivi on that particular turn and crew is so we can actually switch into Shanks and Rebecca on this turn against Virgo. The reason we want to do that is we want to have a higher attack multiplier with our Captain Shanks, and we want to have a bit more color affinity with our Rebecca unit. Now, on the Virgo stage, he does put up two turns of defense up. He does like a 90% HP cut and reduces our healing, which is a bit annoying. So we do need to use the special of uh, Vivi Rebecca, so that way we can actually remove the defense up. Now, with Vivi Rebecca, though, they are going to be uh, giving themselves two times color affinity. So they should be able to kill Virgo. And you can usually hang on to an orb with Usohachi. Now, if you don't hang on to an orb with Usohachi... Oh, sorry. Actually, that was on the previous turn. Never mind. Ignore that. On the next turn, we come up against Caesar Clown. This is where our boy Crocus is going to shine. So we can use our Crocus special to remove the poison, give us a little bit of healing, and give us damage reduction. Unfortunately, we can't stall on this particular turn as... Uh, Caesar Clown is going to reapply that poison every single turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, block orbs with our super typing of Roger. We can then use our Kazuki Odin special to give us a full board of Wano orbs. I actually switched with Shanks crew early. That was actually silly of me. That was actually really silly of me. You know what? It's really not going to matter, though. As long as we can use our Roger special to get that carryover orb effect, that is the big reason. Now, what we want to do on this particular stage is we actually want to hit perfects with all of our barrier pen units. And those three units being um, Crocus, Vivi Rebecca, and Usohachi, it's fairly important that you actually do that. So that way, you can just get as much healing back as possible. Because we can't switch with Vivi Rebecca, it is essential that we can get as much healing as possible just by utilizing our regular taps. Now, on the next stage, we come up against Pika. Pika has two turns of defense up, once again, very, very prevalent in this Dofi content, and he is going to um, give us one turn of uh, chain coefficient reduction. So we do want to switch with our Shanks crew and Vivi Rebecca, and then we can use our Uso Hachi special to actually remove the defense up. What we then want to do with this particular turn is we do want to attack with all of our units besides our strength units. The reason I like to do that is because then we can actually, actually, no, you know what, I'm actually going to attack with... Um, uh, Odin. I always like to try and save a Wano Orb on my... What's his name? 
on Usohachi. The reason I like to save a Wano Orb on Usohachi is because it's actually going to come in handy later down the line. So on the second turn against Pika, we can switch with our dual units, and then we can just sort of attack Pika and take him out easy peasy. Now, you do want to make sure you switch with Viva Rebecca on this particular turn. If you don't have a chain lock, when Pika dies, he will give you 99 turns of like a 1.1 times chain lock, and it's very, very annoying. So moving on to the next stage against Treble and Sugar, um, they give us a full board of Dex Orbs, which they make unfavorable, and they uh, special bind our left-hand side, sorry, slot bind our left-hand side, as well as give us one turn of Paralysis once again. So what we want to do on this particular stage, we can switch with our Shanks Crew, and then use our Shanks Crew Special, so we get an Attack Boost and a 3.5 times Chain Lock for three turns. Because we're actually going to hang around on this stage for three turns, it actually helps us out quite a bit, and then we can use our Liberal Hind Special for a little bit extra cooldown, but the best thing about putting Usohachi on the left-hand side to actually get that slot bind is we can actually stockpile that Wano Orb for later in the run. Now, what I like to do here is I like to just let Odin's just, like, doom, like, miss, basically. So that way I don't do too much damage to Treble. If you get Treble around 50% HP, he's going to give you a full board of slot bind for 10 turns. And what are the chances of that? Um... He gives you a full board of slot bind for 10 turns, and that is basically just going to spell the end of your run. So just be very, very careful with that. Um, just, try and, just try and keep him around that like 60% HP pool. This team has a lot of damage and can take him out on the third turn. Uh, when he gives us a full board of quick orbs, he's going to despair us, which Roger can remove, and he turns into a, a dex unit. Now, with the amazing captain ability of um, Shanks Crew, we can uh, make all those orbs matching. And then with Roger's Amazing Captain Ability 2, we can actually remove the Despair and move on to the next stage against Mark Vice, Senior Pink, and Gladius. Now, against Mark Vice, Senior Pink, and Gladius, you actually want to try and switch into Rebecca. And this is where having Limit Break Plus... Don't think I mentioned that at the start of the video, and I'm very, very sorry. This is actually my second run, and I, my, I think I totally forgot. Um, I will try and edit that into the video. Um, you do want to switch into Rebecca and then use the VV Rebecca special to remove the defensive effects that Gladius, Senior Pink, and Mark Weiss provide. Then we can switch with our Shanks crew to give us an attack boost, and we really want to focus on taking out Mark Weiss, but with the two times color affinity that VV Rebecca provides, they can just literally blitz their way through uh, Mark Weiss, and then with the rest of our units, we can take out Senior Pink. That is actually going to save us a hell of a lot of damage not taking a shot from Senior Pink, and it means it's going to make us a lot easier in terms of survivability when we get to the next stage against Diamante. So what we want to do on this particular stage against, um, what's his name? Uh, Gladius. We are just going to pass a turn basically, uh, but make sure you stay as crew to get some natural damage reduction as well. Once, um, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Um, Gladius. Once Gladius says, I'll clean this up or something like along those lines, that's basically the time where you do want to move on. But you do need to be very, very careful not to do too much damage to Gladius. If you're getting below 70% HP, which is about where his ear is, uh, he is going to give you 50 turns of paralysis, which is very, very annoying. Like, very, very annoying. But once he does say, I'll clean this up, we are going to switch with our VV Rebecca and our Shanks crew. That way we can get a 2.5 times chain lock, as well as the attack boost. And then we can just focus on taking out Gladius easy peasy. We do want to try and hang on to that Wano Orb with Usahachi still. That Wano Orb on Usahachi is actually going to come in handy against this particular turn against Diamante. So against Diamante, he's going to do end of turn damage. And he's going to give us five turns of special one. But Shanks crew can remove that. And what we want to do on this particular stage here is switch with our Viva Rebecca to give ourselves a chain lock and switch with Shanks crew to give us an attack boost. Then we just want to try and do as much damage as we possibly can to our boy Gladius. Um, not Gladius. Diamante here. Now with that um, Wano Orb that we do have on our Usahachi, it just gives us a hell of a lot more damage. Unfortunately, we can't kill Diamante on this particular stage, but we can get pretty damn close. He does around 18k damage, so you do want to have quite a chunky HP pool when you do get to him. And on the second turn, he is going to give us um, a Chain Lock as well as give us one turn of special blind. Shanks crew can easily remove that so you don't have to worry too much. And then you just want to sort of switch with your Vivi Rebecca to get a little bit of healing, attack with your pinch healing units, and take him out on the second turn. 
So onto the final stage, we come up against the Dofies. Now we don't have a way of removing block orbs. So how are we going to get around the block orbs? Well, this is where our boy Crocus comes in clutch once again, because we can actually use his special for a bit of healing as well as 90% damage reduction. So on the final stage against the Dofies, they also put up two turns of defense up once again. We can use our Crocus special. That way we can actually get a nice chunky heal and damage reduction. Then we can use our switchability of Shanks crew. That way we can just get a little bit more natural damage reduction. And we can use our Usohachi special to remove the defense up that uh, Dofi provides. Now on this particular stage, you just really want to get rid of the block orbs. That's really the big thing here. Like you can't do any damage like with, without the block orbs and any buffs. Like Dofi's just, they got too much HP. So you just want to pass the turn. And now we're going to burst on this second turn. On the second turn though, it is very important that we use our specials in the correct order. Now I got absolutely shafted with orbs. Like what? Look, it is what it is, guys. But this is going to show off how, how safe this team is. So what you want to do first is you want to use the Roger Special straight up. Using the Roger Special first means that we can then switch with Shanks Crew to guarantee us a few more orbs. Then we can use the Shanks Crew Special to give us a 3.5 times chain lock. And then ideally, you want to switch with Vivi Rebecca to hopefully give you some more matching orbs on your Shanks, Crocus, and Vivi Rebecca themselves. But unfortunately, I got an Int Orb. Like, how the hell did I get an Int Orb? Then, after we've done all that, we can use our special of Odin. That way we can get some Wano Orbs, and with that we should have plenty of damage to take out the Dofies. We should. Now we did get shafted with Wano Orbs here, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Ah, easy peasy. Boom, so even with getting shafted with, Wano, uh, with, with Orbs on the final stage, we still have enough security to take out Heavily Demon 2. So that was Crocus in Garb Challenge Heavily Demon 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that big red subscribe button too. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Late.